Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the Apple TV. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to use AirPlay to set up streaming from your computers to your Apple TV. So the first step in the process is to go over to your iTunes on your computer and turn home sharing on. You can do that from the advanced menu, or if you're just setting up for the first time on iTunes 10, there's often a sidebar on the left-hand side. So turn that on. Set up the Apple ID and password on iTunes using the same Apple ID and password you use as your store on the Apple TV. Then, once you've entered that in and are using the same password on both Apple TV and your iTunes, now you can set this up with a few different computers around your house so you can stream from your different computers, upstairs, downstairs, uh, different people in the house. And then to access them, you'll go over to the Computers menu option here. In this case, we've set up one, and that's my library on my MacBook in the other room. And we'll press Select to go through to it. And you see music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, iTunes University, options, and your photos on that computer. We'll go see what the music is. You can see, again, sorted by the usual way you do on an iPod. We're going to go by artists. If you have a particularly slow connection or a particularly large library, it could take a few minutes to set this up for the first time. Now, you have the list of options here, and you can scroll down through the list as you would. And, for example, we'll go to Big Star. We have a couple different albums here. Then we select the album that we want, press it, go through. We can choose to shuffle the items here, or we can just play them in a row. Go through to the one that we want to start, press the button in the middle, the select button, and it will start streaming your music. While you're on this, you can press and hold your select button for more options, including starting your genius option, browsing by artist, browsing by album, or canceling out of this. We'll hit cancel. Now we can back out. Go to movies. You notice the album cover art will load in as well, which is part of why this is so slow. It's actually loading a lot of information the very first time you do this. Now, one nice feature about the Apple TV is that when you load up something that you've started watching before, you can actually resume playing from the previous location. Now, you notice after you've stopped playing, the little blue dot on the side will indicate whether it's watched or unwatched. A full blue dot will indicate that it's unwatched. Half and half will indicate that it's partially watched. And if you've watched the entire thing, it will be empty. Now, you notice when you go back into it, it'll give you the option to resume playing from the place that you left off. So in case you have to stop watching a movie or a TV show or whatever, you can go back in and watch by clicking resume right from the place where you left off. Anyways, that's a look at the AirPlay functionality on the Apple TV. Don't forget to check out the show notes for this at butterscotch.com, as well as the show notes for all the other parts in this series. Thank you.